Get the tools you need to become a free and independent trainer with my Dumbbells of Dollars course at www.dumbbells2dollars.com. I think that, that they're going to really say, okay, I'll, I'll go with Sam. And I got off and I read that and read that and I'm like, I started, I don't have an answer for that. But I knew that I know that I understand coming online. I went online, Jonathan, and looked not just at BFF, not just yours, but I looked at a variety of uh, online trainers. And just like you said, you know, they were giving um, six weeks, they were giving 14 days. And I was like, okay, in seven days, would that be enough? So I wrote that down to ask you if that was That's something that I could post. That's a thing. Like with a warm lead, I think seven days is enough. Okay. Um, I mean, it really just depends on the person. It not only depends on the person, but in those seven days, you're going to have to make individual contact with them each of those seven days. Like you can't, okay. you can't expect like, okay, they show up and then um, they did the class. They had a good time. They're like, thanks. I had a good time. And then, you know, I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe they show, maybe they don't. How many days a week do you run your classes? Uh, right now I'm just doing uh, three. I'm doing three. And which, that's, which three days? that's what I, yeah. Well, uh, no, that's fine. But which three days? Oh, um, um, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then, well, actually it's four because I do Saturday mornings as well. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday morning. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a case. And what time? It's only 7 p.m.? Seven and be, because those are that's the uh, the group that I have now. That's what they agreed on. I can do as early as six a.m. I'm comfortable with that. So even if I had to run two, um, I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Now here's the thing: mm -hmm. if you have a new person, let's say you have a new person, like, are you willing to train at any time? Are you not a nurse? Like, do you are you per diem or are you? No, I'm full shifts. time. Actually, they would have to see me. That's why I said the 6 a.m. I go in at 8. And uh, the client that one of the clients that I had, I would, um, her, her session was from 6 to 7. So I did an hour session with her before I went to work. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I get off at 4.30. So I'm home. Uh, I'm home in about 20 minutes from, from where I work. I don't work too far from home. So all right. of my sessions, I have been sitting at like 5.30. Okay. Um, okay. So maybe, maybe like if you're that willing to take on a new client mm -hmm. and if you have the time, then one of the hooks can be, you know, free week of training, three days a week, your time. So let's say, I mean, and, but the question is, is that something you're willing to do? That's not something I'm willing to do. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I have, a lot of existing classes already. I already have a 5.15, a 6.15, an 8, and a 7 p.m. So people are like, okay, that's cool. But like, if the only class time you offer is 7 p.m., then you disqualify a, a lot of people already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm you know hoping I mean? that some, some would bite that early a.m. because I really don't mind doing that. I'm up every morning at 4.30 anyway, so I might as so, well. Yeah. yeah, so then maybe you can offer okay, one-to-one -one training, and with, with the goal of securing a one-to-one -one virtual client. So maybe you'll be okay. able to make, to make more, and then you tell them, hey, by the way, if you want to save a little bit, then you can do my 7 p.m. classes, because that's a group, you know? Right, but okay. But when you, when you first meet them, it's like you have availability from, you know, whatever, from mm -hmm. 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., mm -hmm. and then from, what time do you get out? Four, you said? Yeah, I get off at four, four thirty. My girlfriend has the same schedule. She's a nurse educator. Are you okay? Are you, are you a staff nurse? I am a um, case management. I go into uh, I work with for the VA for Veteran Affairs, and I um, take care of veterans that can no longer come to the clinic. We take the clinic to them, so oh, I go awesome. into home. Yeah. Okay. So so anyway, um, so you could say available AM and or PM, and then perhaps you want on the form so like if you click the form mm -hmm. and you get the drop down then maybe you want to put like uh what time would you like to come in for class for your first one-on-one okay. -on -one session you know um that might not be a bad idea and then that okay. way you'll know like so you'll have one-on-one -on -one at 6 a.m one-on-one 7 a.m what so you can't do 8 a.m because you go in at 8 a.m 
So what's right. the last, what's the last time that you can offer? Is it only six? So basically 6 a.m. 6 a.m. probably until 7. Yeah, it felt like an hour and a half window. Now, what about when you get back from work well, before I, 7 p.m.? I can do 5. I mean, I'm up at 4.30, literally. Whether I stayed up to 2 or two or 1 in the morning, which I don't, not much. But right. I'm, my body is like a time clock. So 4.30, I'm up and rolling. But what about, this, what about the p.m. times? Is 7 p.m. the only time that you can do in the evening? No. No, that's just what, we're, what I'm doing now because that's, that's what they wanted. Okay, um, what times could you do? The 5.30, you know, 5.30 okay. p.m. Yeah. So five. So you could. So technically, you could you do five or five thirty? I could do five thirty just to just because of traffic, just to give myself time to get in and get everything booted up. Five thirty. Okay. So hey. now you have four times available. So you could offer uh, five a.m., which I doubt people are going to take anyway. Six a.m. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you should say five thirty, six thirty. Because if okay. you got out by 7.30, would you be able to make it to work by 8? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so let's say yeah. you got 5.30 a.m., you got 6.30 a.m., you got 5.30 p.m., mm -hmm. and then you have 7 p.m. Okay. All right? Now they're like, oh, they have multiple times. Okay, I could do that, you know. Um, or if you wanted this to put is what I needed help with. a later time, you know what I mean? So like 5.30 yes. a.m., one-on-one. 6.30 a.m. one-on-one, 5.30 p.m. one-on-one, 7 p.m. group. So then okay. at least now they have a couple more options okay. as to what they might want to do. Okay. Cool? Yes. Um, and then as far as the actual creative, so have you yeah, recorded? I, don't want, I didn't know that that picture was going to be like what they see. I thought, I don't know. Well, I didn't I, know what you wanted, so. Yeah, I wasn't, I sent the wrong picture. The, the best picture that I've done is when you told me to, uh, I started doing my fundraiser and you was like, when you kind of told all of us, you was like, this is when you want to get uh, some of the best images because when you do something free, you got a mass amount of people. And that picture has 54 people behind me. Was that, well, I think, have you recorded your Zoom workouts? I have, but there's, it's so tiny. I don't know how to, but yes, I have. What do you run your Zoom workouts on? Uh, your I'm phone or your laptop? My laptop. Okay. I mean, so if that's the case, then you could just take a screenshot of, you know, a Zoom workout. Okay. And that could be posted there. Okay. You know? Good deal. Screenshot. So okay. you could say free, so if it's free week one-on-one -on -one training, you know, um, and then they see the Zoom, then they'll understand. Okay, you know? okay. Um, and then you can further explain. So maybe three a week, three, uh, three days. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, three weeks. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and I do Saturdays as well. Uh, I mean, you could tell them about that when they, and that's group though, right? Okay, right, that's group. Uh -huh. Yeah, so then I would tell them that after they opt in, you know, okay. like after you call them. So okay. you have your Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Um, you're offering a free week for one on one. So like at three days, you got to suck it up. Like if they're not into it, you know they're not gonna. They probably won't do the full week. Um, mm -hmm. You should talk about rates and options immediately, like after their first workout. Like, listen, this was the first workout, and these are our prices normally. So for one to one training, I charge X amount of dollars per hour. Or if you want to jump into our group, then you can do that for, you know, X amount, however much you charge for the group. Or if you do online training, then you can um, then you can just get access to the portal, and then you can get access to online training. So that's my next question: Have you been recording? If you recorded your uh, Zoom workouts with the group, you know you can put that on the portal, and then clients can watch that. No, I did not, and I have been recording. I have been recording. So you can, you can just, you can put that on the website requisition form, please upload these workouts. And then you can, now the person says, all right, well, you know, I liked your, I like the one-on-one, -on -one, but I can't really afford it. I can't really make the group time. Hey, listen, I got the full workouts on my portal, you know, one time fee of whatever, whatever you okay. want to charge. Like literally if it's paying $19 a month and they pay you $47 for lifetime access, like my, my first goal is to cover all my costs, you know okay. what I mean? 
So you just have to decide how much you would want to offer for that. But what I do is for, uh, for the virtual training, it's $97 a month, right? If right. they decide that, that they don't that's like the virtual the, I follow it through Soup. I'm following Soup yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. If, if they don't decide that, if they decide that they like the virtual classes, but they can't make them, then I'll say, all right, well, if you want, you can get access to my portal where all the virtual classes are pre-recorded and then you can get access to that lifetime, $97. You know? Okay. And then if they sign up, whatever, it's like free money. Like I don't have to do any extra work for them to sign mm -hmm. up. And then, and then if they say, Oh, I need extra guidance. So you'd be like, Oh, well, you know, I could do a one-on-one -on -one with you, a consultation once a week for X amount of dollars or like, and then, then you open up to whatever options you want. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. But it's helped me understand more with the lifetime. Are they, are you saying that you have clients that paid that $97 one time? One time, and then, yeah, and then that just means that they get access to the portal, they get a username and a password, and they can log in and watch any of my recorded workouts anytime. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So. Okay. I don't and what I this. did. Oh, no, yeah, keep talking. I'm just loading up. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just, I'm not sure if, um, if I've taken care of, with the fan page, does, is the fan page going to give them access to membership? I haven't gotten to that part yet. For them to actually sign in and then me know when I've actually got a, gotten a fee. Or is that transaction a part of the, uh, are you doing phone consults with your new virtuals? Okay. Um, if the fan page is going to confirm whether or not they got a fee? It, talk uh, to me. Membership. Uh, the fan page, is this, this is to get them uh, access to the portal, correct? Okay, so let's break it down. Um, you have a Facebook fan page, right? Mm -hmm. And then that's really just what you use to the uh, to to um, to send out your ad. That's what fan pages are okay. for. Okay. All right. Okay. You have your private Facebook group for your mm -hmm. regular clients, where you continue to talk with them. You okay. know, that's where the interaction happens. So I usually only allow my active people in my private Facebook group. Okay. okay. Um, and then the last aspect is access to your portal. This is my portal. All right. Mm -hmm. So access to your portal. And then uh, if they decide that they want to sign up for, you know, just a portal that has nothing to do with Facebook. Got it. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. here are the on-demand workouts. Like I've, I've got a couple so far, you know, but, okay. um, oh, I got more than a couple now because um, I've been recording it every day. But like they see this entire list, like, listen, you get like 40 workouts and then you could just, you know, watch whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, blah, 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 only $97. I think that's, you know, like if somebody was going to buy Insanity, they'd probably right. pay around that much. So mm -hmm. the whole charging monthly for access to the portal, I'm not down with that. But like if perhaps you're going to give them additional support, maybe through a weekly phone call, that's when mm -hmm. you would, you know, charge an additional amount. and then. It's by schedule only, so they're not locked into anything, but at least they know they can work out. Okay. You know, I okay. think that's where the value yeah. is. Okay. Um, so as far as the flow, I don't think you watch the second updated FitBoss Facebook flow because this right here, if somebody opt in, opts in from your, uh, from your ad, should not mm -hmm. take I want them. more information. Uh-huh. Yeah. After, well, okay. After they fill this out. All mm -hmm. right. And then you add your drop down box for your times. Um, okay. And then they click this. It should take them over to your scheduler, which you have not set up yet. Okay. Okay. So I would definitely recommend that you go back and you watch the Facebook advertising again and then okay. watch the Facebook uh, and watch the Fit Boss flow because then what that's going to do is that's going to ask them to choose a time to call you. Okay. With the thing with Facebook, with the thing with Facebook advertising is people will fill out the form and they'll forget mm -hmm. that they did it like five minutes later. You know? Okay. And then when you call them, like let's say you're on shift and you don't have your phone on you. So let's say you call them eight hours later. They're like, I don't know who you are. I don't know what kind of form you're talking about. You okay. I mean? So like what you, what your best option would be, would be to uh, take them over to your scheduler. That way they can choose a time where okay. they're going to expect to hear from you. And then with the flow, it's going to automatically text the person. 
And then it's going to remind them, hey, make sure to schedule a program, uh, you know, a consultation with Samantha. And this is all before the workout happens. And this has okay. to happen because people, when they fill out Facebook forms, you, I think trainers have a hard time understanding that like people don't really care. Like they're not like, Ooh, I just signed up for PNR Wellness. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Sometimes it's like, all right, let me just fill out my form. Whatever. You know what I mean? Like they might have right. filled out 10 forms that day. Okay. You know? Okay. So, um, so that's why I think you should rewatch the flow. And then when you get the scheduler up, you'll be able to take people from your opt-in to your scheduler. You'll be able to, okay. to call them before their first workout. You'll be able to get exactly what they need. And then from there, you can schedule their first workout you can do the one-on-one -on -one. you can present the prices you give them two more workouts you present the prices again and then they make a decision but all okay. of that is part of the sales process okay so to uh whenever i'm filling out the forms in in the future um thanks for tolerating all of those uh, messenger messages too thanks no, no i'm, I'm, <laughs> but, I'm glad you did the one-on-one -on -one because sometimes it's just not clear you know, right. clarity helps with what we're talking. Absolutely. So whenever I'm going to add, I'm going to go, once I finish with the uh, flow, am I to reach out to you guys again? Um, yeah. Well, there, okay. okay. So now let's but talk a little bit more the about form, Correct? Yeah. Um, okay. let, let's talk more about the flow of this ad because, okay. all right. So what, what will help you is either, okay. So a recording of your, of your uh, of your boot mm -hmm. camp or workout in action through Zoom is going to help. You probably want to okay. if you put that on Facebook as your ad, then this picture right here is actually going to be fine. Okay? okay, so this is good. Um, hold on one second. Um, this is good. Do you want to? That's good. Now the issue here was the before and after picture. Yeah, I didn't do good on that. I because yeah, like I mean, I haven't had any of them. I don't have a, all of my ladies, every single client that I have, Jonathan, is an educator. And they are 35 oh, and older. And yeah. they are not going to get brawn candies. Bro, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm actually, I never, I never even bother to ask people to take a picture in the brawn panties. Like, I'm like, okay. just wear, just wear anything. Wear like, okay. you know, yoga pants and a shirt that's not too loose. Okay. You know, and that so should be good enough. I can fix enough. that before and after. I can improve on yeah. those images. Okay. And then what you what you also might want is an application called Photo Grid. P H O T O G R I D. Do you have an iPhone or a Droid? I have an iPhone. Okay, so Photo Grid. And then okay. what will happen is the reason why this um, why this before and after section isn't all that great is because it's like one of the pictures is the before and the other one is the after. All right, mm -hmm. but if you can put them both into the same picture, so you can see them side by side, that's what right. Photo Grid is going to allow you to create. It's going to, you know, it's going to go into your, it's going to go into your phone's uh, camera roll, and then you'll choose the before, the after, and then you put the before on the left and the after on the right. And if you want to put Got text it. on the top Got of that, then you can make actual before and after pictures. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, yeah. um, this the the testimonials all yeah. work. That's fine. But I messed up with the names. You see at the bottom here, the names dropped down, but I, I was thinking you were asking for the, the, I was thinking that the form was asking for the name so that it could be tagged to the testimonials, but I didn't get that clear. So it looks okay, like I so, need to add more pictures there. Well, no, for instance, so one of these women is Lisa Troy. Yes. That's her in the blue shirt. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So that wasn't quite clear because the testimonial section, it's like, that's for written, that's for written, uh, you know, actual testimonials. Like, oh, so these you know, on the bottom. Of, so again? the top is fine, and the ones on the bottom is for written. Mm hmm Like, if you oh, want, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know that you need to have the whole. Um, I mean, they're probably going to say their name, so it, it's yeah, it's they really say their names up there. Yeah, okay. so you really don't need to have, you know, okay, this is Lisa, this is Angela. You know what I mean? Um, but the bottom, if anybody has written you. I've got two of them. Okay, written. Yeah, then, okay. then you can put like four. And then if you have the person's picture, that goes underneath their name. And then the written stuff will go right here. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. So okay. let me see if I can. All right. So you said it'd be helpful if you saw like how it's supposed to look. 
Well, so, no, not now with you talking to me because that's what was going on. I was like, I don't, I couldn't visualize how that um, page was supposed to be laid out and what right. was where. That's like but, at the bottom, I did not, I really did not understand based on going onto that form that that is a written testimony, uh, written testimony with the picture of the person that wrote it. I did not understand that. Right. Okay. So yeah. now we know um, it, yeah. it would look something like this. And then yeah. with this, yeah. Yeah. So, so then okay. I would need a picture for each person. I mean, if you wanted it there, if you didn't want a picture there, we can just put no, Colleen or whatever. But like the picture is more compelling. And then Absolutely. with this, like I have like 10 people talking in this, so I don't need to put, oh, this is Pat, Pam, Elizabeth, uh, Deb, Lori. I don't uh -huh. need to put all that. Um, I can just like, I can just let this run. And honestly, I don't even know how many people watch the video. I really don't. Okay. Some people do, some people don't, but it's just good to have. The more content, the better. Yes. You know? Okay. And then so up I think top, that is the way you did your video is that you're actively showing what your your uh, virtual looks like and the mm -hmm. time clock so when i saw that time clock i was like oh i'm ready to go there's my timer had nothing to do with that i ain't even finished okay i got Wait, it what <laughs> you lost me what happened when, when i saw up top where you've got the 2956 yeah when i opened my page and you said confused you said portal ready and I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, there's my clock I've been waiting on. I absolutely, I oh, thought that no, was right. No, 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 no. Then, then I get that message that says confused. I'm like, oh. Right, no, no, no. Now, so, I hope Jonathan realizes that he's dealing with a 53-year-old brain here. And I sure didn't know, do that. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's new for a lot of people. But as long as we absolutely. get like the, the semantics right, um, Portal is your membership page. Got it. <laughs> Facebook ad is just a website to get people to talk to you. Okay. So if we're talking about the portal, like, so th there's a lot of stuff that, you know, you can do to improve, like with your, por with your portal, you can now um, upload or no, not upload. You can upload your videos to Vimeo and then send the Vimeo links for your full workouts. And if you mm -hmm. want us to create a section for just like full workouts so that when you sign people up, if they don't want, or if you have difficulty signing people up and they just want to get replay workouts, they like your personality or whatever, then you can send them over to the portal and they can watch full workouts. So you can make a, you can make an immediate requisition form for that. That's, okay. that's one of the first things. So you got a lot of time. You have a lot of homework now. Okay. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, okay. So, no. It's a lot. It's a lot. It is, it is, but it's going to be worth it. And I absolutely am uh, just grateful. You know, I thought, I told myself when I, when I made the decision to go in business, Jonathan, that I was like, I'm not going to be that online. I'm just not going to be that trainer. I'm not going online. I will do face to face um, mm -hmm. and do it live. And that's, that's what I'm good at. And I, um, I have learned in this season, never say what you're not going to do. It's never say never. And what it did was it actually made me deal with me and maturely say, okay, so what, what is the issue? Why, why are you not going to do that? And now I see Jonathan that even after the pandemic and things go back to our new normal, um, mm -hmm. being able to, um, I can facilitate if we've got inclement weather or if there is a crisis and an emergency, but that person, that client still wants to work out. Hey, um, Let's let's do it online. Now I yeah, can it's offer this. Like, After I, honestly, fact, I can offer this. So I love. I it. agree. I agree. Yeah. I've I've always said I am a live trainer. I do not want to do online. Um, mm -hmm. Virtual is a little bit different because you're still connecting with the. My thing is all yeah. about connection. I like to connect with people. You yes. know, so virtual is a little bit different. And virtual, I actually really like. The only thing is sometimes I just wish some of my clients had more equipment. You know, yes. so I could just do, do more. But that can come with time. Like right now, all the equipment right. sold out. But I guarantee, if it was in stock, my cl my clients would be getting some rowers, some more dumbbells, some kettlebells. Okay. So that's you know, Good deal. that's encouraging. That's encouraging. Yeah. I've done that. That's that was one of the decisions that I made for um for the ladies because I'm like, okay, now I've got all this equipment sitting in a building and I'm not mm -hmm. using it. So I decided to make fit packs. I, yeah, I call them fit packs. I gave each one of them a kettlebell, 
um, a 10 pound dumbbell. They got a loop band. They got a borrowing, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, I oh yeah. Them, but I leased it out to them uh, so that whenever I call uh, on, like on tonight, I'll go in and I'll say, okay, tomorrow we're going to be using the kettlebell dumbbell, um, the booty band and the bowling pin. I actually got some bowling pins. I got 50 bowling pins for $10, Jonathan. When you weigh them, they weigh four and a half pounds, solid wood. And that has been a means for me uh, for the ladies that cannot hold a 10 pound dumbbell, but they can hold that bowling pin and use it as the same. So I've been, I've incorporated that into my workouts, but um, smart. I've, I've done very that. Creative. So um, I've done that. And then what I want to do with the remainder of it is continue it once this is up and running for those that want to uh, lease or rent the, uh, the equipment, then there's an extra $20 fee. But I, I'm critiquing my contract now so that it would merit uh, them understanding that this, is, this, this equipment has to be returned whenever you are done with my services. Right. And, and that they'll sign as such. But um, to have enough to, um, the part, I was told by Parks and Recreations today where I was running my boot camps, that that is closed for the rest of 2020. The gym is. But they'll give me access to the park uh, in the next two and a half weeks. Okay. To go back outside. So um, it'll be good they, in the summer, you know, and then yeah. once it's only be a couple months, you got, you got the virtual platform set up. So right. the main thing is that your platform is set and then you mm -hmm. can get as many people as you can. I think the fact that you're willing to do one-on-ones, that yeah. might work for you. Like for me, I just don't want to do them. I'm, I'm good with the groups and I have enough people. So I'm good with that. Right. But I think you're going to be okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. Okay. So we're just at, our time. Did I help okay. you? Do, do you think this was helpful? Absolutely. And if I need to do a review of it, I'm glad to do. This is so helpful. Okay. I, I, I can learn on my own, but I process better uh, with conversation. I absolutely do. I agree. And, and yeah. you know, even going back to what you said, I think a lot of trainers felt that way about the online because a lot of trainers are not like tech savvy. So they're like, well, mm -hmm. I don't even want, I don't want to learn something new. Like it's confusing. You know, yeah. um, so I, there's been a little bit of, of, of a learning curve with just mm -hmm. about everybody that's going online or, and or virtual. But I think once you start to accept, it's just like when you got your certification, you didn't know yes. all this stuff, you right. know, now you're, now you're learning a new kind of way of training. That's all it is. Yeah. You know, I think yeah, it'll absolutely. be okay. So and before um, you leave, yeah. I want to ask about the, I saw your picture, Jonathan, um, Look, you have the desktop, you have a laptop, oh. and your phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a video about that. But okay, like, okay. Th yeah. That's like, there's, there's Angle so is much. Terrible for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, somebody asked about that, and the first thing I said was like, listen, that's just because I'm crazy and because I can. Like, you don't <laughs> need to use all that equipment. Like, you really okay. don't. You know, okay. and that I actually, after I posted it, I thought about, it, I was like, uh, I probably shouldn't have because it's going to make people think that that's what they have to do. They don't have to do okay. that. You know, like okay. all these, like the LED lights and, and, and you know, two different mics. No, mm -hmm. it's not necessary. Okay. But the most necessary thing is your energy, your passion, and that you're there. And then you have a screen on. As long as you have a screen, you're fine. Okay. All right. So tonight I'm going to do the, um, the Fit Boss Flow. Well, I'm just going to continue to process, but I know that, that the Fit Boss Flow as well as the scheduler are, are key. And I've logged in those times. I'm going to keep those times. And um, I'll, that's, tonight is the grind for, for the rest of the preparation for this. Okay, I'm with it. So, so just focus on learning for now. And then reply to that email. Uh, choose a time for Friday. Uh, I have an MRI. But then, like, I'm, I'm free to around this time on Friday. So then we'll touch base. Okay. We'll, we'll get it going again on Friday. All right. Thank you, All dear, right. so much. Thank you, dear. Pleasure talking to you. That, that awesome. go well with that MRI. I know. I'm sure it'll be fine. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. Right, so I appreciate I'll talk you. To you soon. Keep me in the loop. All right. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome.